Hello, welcome. This is your Wellness Tarot 777. It's been a little while since I've been here. I wanted to tap up with you guys. And uh, I'm bringing a... Um, I'm bringing a... What am I thinking? What? <laughs> I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross with a collective. In love. Money will show up. People in your life will show up. Let's see where it goes. Thank you, Great Spirit, that we are able to tap in. Looking into things for one another, encouraging one another on this journey. Thank you for everyone who is subscribed, who had that kind of love and faith for me. I thank you for it. Here goes. When I first started this channel, I went from, it was for uh, mature people, and I think after the pandemic, we're all mature people. <laughs> okay, those are nice and shuffled. First, I'm going to open with a blessing. Archangel Michael, bless this channel. Bless everyone who watches this. Help us to be eyes wide open, hearts wide open, and our hands offering to others. Here we go. What is the angelic message for this reading? Nurture. So you're do, having to do some inner nurture work. As you do a child, you would nurture your inner child. And both of those things are important for you right now. So maybe you also need to be with a child, uh, nurturing a child and nurturing yourself. That means that if some of you have children, they might be missing you. That could very well be the case. Mm-hmm. So we're going to take a look real quick at the uh, primary messages. These are all oracle cards that I'm using to tap in for you. The um, sacred activation oracle should bring back remembrance, remembrances for you. This is a transition that you're in. Everything's changing. Everything is changing. As we learn to let go and surrender to the process, we allow transition to occur with ease and grace. So, the word I get is transition and segue. Moving in and out of things like this. Right. The, the conscious spirit is that we are on the wheel of life. Sometimes the wheel can go up and we're just like rolling with it. Abundant. Top of the world. Good luck. Good everything. And sometimes we're on the bottom of the wheel. And the bottom of the wheel is when you are in nurture stages, uh, reassignment stages in the spirit, doing things in relationships and in between. We also have the sacred destiny is about flowing. And this would be the lesson, I think, to learn to flow, to, to uh, speak your peace and let it be. You need to get something off your chest and you need to rearrange something in your life, most especially relationships. Something has to be balanced to be fair. This is Libra energy. The guides, the, the uh, psyche guides are, you're being guided by the keepers of the light. To, this is a call for you to come to action, take charge and lead by example. Walk your talk. So. Maybe if you've been talking about something, you're going to need to show it in your lifestyle. Let's see what's going on in love. The love message for you is, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow, loved ones. You will be surprised where it leads. That's all about flow and transition. Interesting, okay? So let's see, what do we have? What do we have for the wellness people? What's going on for those that are on this channel? Thank you, Spirit, that you love us so much that you give us insight. Even when things seem dim around us or confusing, we can still tap into our inner core. We can still tap into our faith 
and we can still find the answers we need. Here we go. Collective love reading. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. So what that is referencing to me, my friends, is that <clears throat> during this nurture and flow, someone has decided to pull back, examine exactly what it is that they want. Not really quite ready for a new romantic relationship yet. Yeah. Your greatest influences for this reading. Spiritual attack, addictions, holding on to things that no longer serve, being um, being harassed in the spirit by negative energy or negative people, causing a grief on your soul. All right, let's take a look. Kelty Cross. Right, let me pull this back just a minute. All right, so... You're showing up as the Ace of Swords. You absolutely know the truth. There's no one who can lie to you about this, about the details. You you know, you have already have acquired much intuition and much connectivity to spirit. You've already acquired that. So when you have acquired a knowledge, no one can tell you otherwise. Otherwise, it's gaslighting. And you know that. It's like, no, I didn't say that. Yes, you did. You have the Ace of Swords, the Sword of Truth, the Sword of the Spirit, the Awakening, the Third Eye, the Sword of Archangel Michael. Yeah, you're very clear about who you are, guys. Yeah. What have you dealt with for a long time, my friends? <clears throat> Being extremely patient, learning things, uh, being educated, um, you've learned a lot of temperance. You have um, the energy of the saints, which means that you know that you have to be temperate. You know this already. Okay, move that up. Okay, Spirit, what do you want to show my Wellness Tarot 777 subscribers? Currently, though, you're ready to do something wonderful with your life, to progress forward, to find someone loving. You're on your way. Yeah, you're on your way. What is on the higher mind, the psychic mind, the, the, the thought process of the collective here? The world. Going through a shift, going through a transition, going through a phase. Remember? transitioning so many of you are having a hard time with that transition you're like whoa that's intense I know I feel that way I know I feel that way I feel like there's stuff going on in the world that has caused many of us to feel to constantly going through transition well energy changes from second to second you know it really does our thoughts change we have to take authority over our thoughts yep yeah. What do we see coming up for the collective in the future, please, Holy Spirit? What do you have? Brand new start. Zero point energy. Um, you might start something new. Something you've never done before. Um, or, or something you've longed to do and needed to make this change to make it happen. Sorry, my ankle started itching. I'm scratching it. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. So, Spirit, show us the rest of this reading. How is the collective showing up then? How do people see them? How do people see you? Queen of Pentacles, they see you as someone grounded, Dependable, professional, family-oriented, able to, uh, you work very well with money. You work very well with, um, you could be married. Many of you could be married or committed. Your commitment material, 
You're being temperate. You're intelligent. You're bright. You're loving. You're going through cycles. You've been dealing with the devil. You've been questioning who you are. And that is part of the devil's trick. So don't even let that sink in. You know who you are already. Yeah? What is the environment that the collective finds themselves in? The moon. Uncertainty. Shifting energy. Uh, it feels very dreamy. Like, what is the word? Uh, delusional. It feels almost delusional and sometimes. Um, <clears throat> What is the biggest, greatest concern of the collective? The Knight of Swords. Waiting for someone to come in and say something harsh or do something sharp in our life and change something again that we're used to and just change it right out, you know, like ripping the rug right out from under you. Clarify that. You're concerned about a tower moment concerned about possibly losing it all at one time very suddenly is this a valid concern no because you are the empress no you're it's not um it is but it isn't honor your feelings but also transmute them and become the creator that you are how do we see this turning out for the collective Six of Wands, extremely victorious. You're going to win. Energy, revival, change of diet, change of location, change of situation. Rebuking the devil, he flees. Drawing near to God, he draws near to thee. You start to feel better. You're doing the inner work. And Two of Cups. Oh, well now. That's love on the table. All right, spirit. How does this turn out for my collective then? It's such a pleasure to be back with you. Please hit the like button for me so my other channel here can be noticed and actually not be shadow banned by YouTube because I love God. Okay, that's exactly what's going on. That's why most of you don't ever hear from, you don't get notifications on my channel because something's wrong with YouTube and then they don't like me. Here we go. Yeah, you guys, a new start is coming. Look look to this for the new moon. What else, please, spirit? You have to balance you've been learning to balance spirituality and practicality and that makes you a kind of a master at this time. You know, you have to go shopping and you have to clean your house and do your laundry and take care of your kids in your house and all of that. However, you also have to tend to your spiritual habits, meditation daily, prayer daily, um, lighting your sage if you need to light your sage, things of that nature. I have to go back to bed here. Step out of your comfort zone and go into your north node. That's important because that's your true destiny. If you don't know where your north node is on your chart, you can look up astro theme, A S T R O T H E M E dot com, and it'll open up a page. And on the left side is a blue section. Down where it says ascendant and chart, tap that, and you will absolutely, uh, a window will pop up so you can put your stuff in. Then it'll double check and make sure you got everything right. Then it'll open up, boom. Your whole horoscope is right there. And if you click on those uh, names, let's say Jupiter and Pisces or something, it'll bring a big box up and describe it in great detail for you where it is in your chart and what it means. And that's amazing. I use it all the time. A fiery climax is approaching, so something is going to change in your environment. Yes, and romance for this reading. Thank you, everybody that likes this video, sees this video, encourages my work, and um, just helps it grow. I give you lots and lots of hugs. Romance for this reading, please. Nurturing oneself, going through a transition, learning to flow, learning to trust God with your divine, with your energy. We have true love. 
Oh my God, worth waiting for. All right. I do offer free read, uh, do offer private readings if you'd like one. You can order it at um, your wellness tarot 777 at gmail. Here we go. You're balancing, yep, perfect, perfect. Balancing home and career. That's what they said. And you're about to experience an incredible amount of freedom. Keeping your priorities right is going to be key number one in this particular process. And that's what I have, my loves. But it's been a pleasure serving you. Um, bless you. Bless me back. Namaste.